The later versions of Excel have some powerful functions like count if, sum ifs, and average ifs that allows you to count sum and averages under certain conditions, more than one. However, if you ever want to calculate standard deviations under more than one condition, there is no standard deviation ifs or median ifs or max ifs or min ifs. So if you want to do that, you have to make your own formulas. Let me help you to do so. See, we have a series of plates analyzed by a series of analysts, and these were the values they found. And we want to know what the standard deviation is of the measurements that analyst 1 did on plate 1, 0.82. If you don't know what to do, you, it's a lot of work. You have to look for this guy, then you look for another one, a third one, and it's, you will find out later on that there are no more. So I put those three guys here and then calculated the standard deviation. It's a lot of work. There must be a better way. Maybe not an easier way, but a better way. And that better way is creating an array formula. Array formulas work with different kind of operators. The asterisk works as an AND operator, the plus as an OR operator, and the ampersand as a concatenate operator. So that's what we did in this cell. We put in there the following formula. Equals standard deviation dot s. That means a standard deviation for a, sam for a sample. If A1 through A25, that's all the plates, happen to be the plate as mentioned in E15, plate 1 in this case, and at the same time, all the analysts, it's column B, happen to be the same as this analyst. If that's the case, then find the standard deviation of all the C values under those conditions. Let me first explain, if you wonder, what those string signs are doing. Some call them dollar signs, but they are really string signs. Those string signs regulate how the copy behavior of these cells is going to be. If you type equals A1 and you copy that formula down, it becomes A2, B2, B1. You know that. Formulas adjust to their new location. If you don't want A1 to change, then you type equal string sign A, string sign 1. That means you lock A and you lock 1. Don't type it that way. Type equals A1 and then hit the F4 key. It goes from this setting to that setting. And this one, when you copy it down, it remains A1, A1, A1. Let's do it in another setting. Equals A1 and hit F4 twice. It goes from this setting to that setting for the first click, the second click to that setting. That means 1 is locked. A can change into B, but 1 will never change, as you can see. And then finally hit F4 three times, and it goes from A1 into this one, that one, and that one. Now A is locked, and 1 will change into 2, etc. Once you know that, you will understand why we put here the string signs the way it was. A1 through A25 should be completely locked. In all these yellow cells, we want always to look in A1 through A25. But E15 has to change into E16, E17, but not F17. So lock the E, but not the 15. And a similar story for F14, F14 is analyst 1, so F14 means that 14 is locked. Analyst 1 is always in row 14, but when you copy it to the right, F can change into G and into H. Once you type all of that, let's pretend we did that in the formula bar. How do you accept that formula? Please do not... Just hit enter or control enter for you get a division error sign. So how do you fix it? You go back to that formula bar, control shift enter. 
this kind of array formulas always have to be accepted with control shift enter how do we know that that formula is correct they can get very complicated so you need a tool to test what they are really doing so i'm, I'm going to do that for this part of the formula first in the formula bar make sure that you include enough parentheses not too many not too few and then press f9 to calculate that part of the formula and it says I looked for plate one in column A. True, 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 true. False, 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 false. Please do not hit enter, for you will replace your references with true, 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 false. Now I am going to highlight the condition in the if statement. F9, and it says the first time, true, one false false true one zero zero one etc escape the formula is correct we made sure that we have the correct locking and string signs so we can copy the formula down and we can copy the formula to the right and notice that the result for plate one analyst one is point a2 the same as we calculated manually the second one, we did not use the AND operator, but the concatenate operator, which is the ampersand. So we say standard deviation is dot s if a1 through a25 and with a concatenator b1 through b25, if that equals happens to equal plate one analyst one concatenated, if that's the case. Give me the standard deviation of the values in column C. Let, let me show you again. If you do that with your testing inside the formula bar, in the first case, before the equal sign, we get a bunch of play 2, analyst 2, play 2, analyst 3. So it concatenates them into one string. Okay. And needless to say that the second one after the equal sign is similar. There's plate one analyst one for this cell, and later on it will be plate two analyst one, etc. So if we do that for the whole section in there, in the if clause, we get a bunch of true, false, false, true, false, false, true, etc. It should work beautifully. Don't forget to accept the formula with control shift enter otherwise you get an error like now so we correct it with control shift enter copy the formula down copy the formula to the right and all these values should be correct i'm not going to test them anymore you believe me i hope once we can do that for standard deviation we can also do that for median the median if function does not exist but we can make a median array formula. The same story with an AND operator or with a concatenate operator. But this time we used the median. The median for the first case for plate one, analyst one, was 1.48. If we calculate it manually, you will see that that is perfectly correct. The median is the middle value in a series of values. So that should indeed be 1.48. I told you and prepared you already that array formulas can get very nasty. They can get very nested, complicated. You know now a little bit how to test them, but still sometimes you will feel lost. So I think you need much more help. And I did that for you with the following tools. I developed three CD-ROMs, two books, that discuss much more on array functions. Especially if you are in science, you need a lot more than what I just discussed. Take your pick of these five tools. You can find them at genesispc.com.